move up to 147 that separates them, the champions from the great champions. And here's a man who has moved from 135 at one point up to 147, disastrously so, and then back down to what is apparently his natural fighting weight of 140, Rafael Pineda. But between fights, Larry Merchant, they tell us that he sometimes goes as high as 170 pounds. And that helps to explain the punching power. Which, but also they had him fight six weeks ago so that he didn't get too far out of shape and have to spend his whole training worrying about weight rather than training for his opponent. He also comes from a family of 17 children, so he had to learn to fight early, George. Just to get some food. <laughs> In fact, he was the 17th of the 17. <laughs> Rafael Pineda from Coastal Colombia. And here's a look at the record. 28 wins, including the one six weeks ago in Mexico City, since which he has stayed in shape rather than to balloon up and wait again as he normally does between fights. 26 knockouts, and just as the unanimous decision is Rennell Whitaker's stock and trade, Rafael Pineda's stock and trade in this weight class is the one-punch knockout. And believe me, he's built for one-punch knockout if you look at his biceps. And we look at the tail of the tape for the two fighters, both weighed in at close to the limit. Pineda 139, Whitaker at 140, a half inch difference in height. Generally, they present each other with a similar look, except that Rafael Pineda is much the heavier boned, heavier muscled fighter. Punch stat numbers, Larry. Once again, we're gonna have a glimpse at just how active and how accurate these fighters are. And as you can see, Whitaker generally throws about twice as many punches as Pineda. And of course, most of those are jabs. We recall when Pineda won the title, it was just one punch that won it for him. Rules, Harold. Pernell, Sweet P. Whitaker, and Rafael Pineda will box tonight using the rules of the International Boxing Federation. Three judges will score the fight on a 10-point must system. There's no standing aid count, no three knockdown rule, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And in case of a cut caused by an accidental butt, we go to the scorecards after six rounds have been completed. Before that, it's a technical draw. Fabulous, Harold. Let's go up the ring announcer, Michael Buffer, for the pre-fight introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Main Events Monitor Productions, Cedric Kushner Productions, and the undisputed, undefeated King of Beer, Budweiser, present Championship Boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, President Robert W. Lee, Supervisor Ringside Alvin Goodman, and the Nevada State Athletic Commission, whose officials shall remain the same, except for the judges assigned at ringside. They will be scoring the bout on a 10-point must system. The judges assigned are Hector Hernandez, Jerry Roth, and Frank J. Cairo. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, working for the 49th time in a world title bout, referee Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again from the Mirage here in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, let's get ready to rumble! 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with white trim, weighing an even 140 pounds. This 1984 Olympic gold medal champion is now 29 and one as a professional with 14 KOs. From Norfolk, Virginia, he's the number one IBF contender in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, the former undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Pernell Sweet Pea Whitaker. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with multicolored trim, weighing in at an even 139 pounds. His professional record, 28 and one. 26 of those 28 victories by KO. Tonight, he makes the first defense of his title he won earlier this year, Con Barranquilla, Colombia. The IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Rafael Pineda. Okay, let's get these trunks down a little bit. Just a little bit. I have to bug you to not. Okay, come here. All right, gentlemen, I give you the rules in the dressing room. Uh, when the good, clean fight, protect yourself at all times. Hold second. 
Ya yo te di a ti las reglas. Ok. Ya yo te di a las reglas en el camerino. Dame una pelea limpia y cuidado con los pies. Okay. No stepping on the toes. No, 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 no problem. Okay. okay. No problem. Fine. Let's go. We're going to get one of two things out of this fight, gentlemen. Either Sweet Pea is going to come out of this fight bigger and better than ever, or we're going to have a new dynamic personality in the ring. And you heard Lou Duba urging referee Joe Cortez to watch carefully to see that Pineda, the conventional fighter, right-hander, does not step on the right foot, the lead foot, of Pernell Whitaker, the southpaw. Various fighters have tried to do it against Pernell. Nobody has been effective so far. There's a long right hand missed by Pineda. He has just about equal power in the right and the left. The first two minutes of a fight, very important to Whitaker. He takes his note because he doesn't, he never studies him. That's right, he claims that he did not watch, claims he didn't watch Pineda's effort against Mayweather at all, and Pineda already stepped once on Whitaker's foot. He believes he can take notes just from the first round. Trying to get underneath with a body shot himself. It was a typical Pernell Whitaker first round, as George Foreman accurately called it, study hall for Sweet Pea. And now let's lead to Carlos Palomino, our interpreter in Pineda's corner. Throw punches. Move your head, move your head side to side, step in. here as both fighters lead you see <laughs> the <old Step> right <laughs> out. a picture is worth everything it, you can't say that it was deliberate it was in the course of the fight both fighters are leading with their front foot it's bound to happen it happens all the time if you're really concentrating on the upper thing you just step on the guy feet never intentional well, mostly when a southpaw fights against a conventional fighter, as is the case here. 
and their front feet are always competing for space. And the key to technique, isn't it, George, is to keep your foot outside of your opponent's foot. And that's when you try, but when you start concentrating that much fighting a softball, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. So you'd rather just forget about that and let it go. Just let it go. If you step on his feet, uh, step on his hand, you just get me that. Was, with it. That was a very low blow. Whitaker was not was not warned for it. And interestingly, the IBF, which is sanctioning this championship bout, has brought in referee Joe Cortez from New Jersey. He is not normally a Nevada referee. typical start around one through only 35 punches his corner asks him to punch more they will probably be asking him that 10 years from now if he's still in the sport you bring in a new jersey referee it helps whitaker because duva is not too liking the las vegas referees after what happened to uh mildred taylor he is from new